This is a quick review on how to solve systems by using a process called elimination without having to multiply. So when we use elimination, the idea is to eliminate a variable or to get rid of a variable. All we're gonna do is add our columns. You'll notice all the problems I have for you have been set up so that all of the X's go first, then all the y's, the equal signs, and the constant. So you're guaranteed all these are going to be set up for you, so you don't have to necessarily look for that, but that is how they're all set up. So we're going to go ahead and add my columns. So first I'm going to look at 4x plus x. So I know 4x plus x is a total of 5x. If I add my y's together, I have y plus a negative y. That's 0. My y's have now been eliminated. Then I have an equal sign and 2 plus 3 is 5. So I really have the equation 5x equals 5. I can now divide both sides by 5, so I have x equals 1. Now that we know that x equals 1, we can use either equation, top or bottom, it doesn't matter which one you're comfortable with, and we can solve for y. So um, in class, I believe we chose the first one, so I'm going to go ahead and do the top one. So we have 4 times, instead of x, I know that x is 1. So 4 times 1 plus y equals 2. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify and solve for y. So I have 4 plus y equals 2. I need to subtract 4 from both sides. So I have y is equal to a negative 2. Now remember, that's an ordered pair, right? That's where the lines are intersecting on the graph. So we need to write our answer as the point 1 negative 2. All right, one more example. In this example, this time my x's are going to be eliminated. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add my columns. My x's have been eliminated. When I add my y's, I end up with a 2y equals 9 plus a negative 3 is 6. So I have 2y equals 6. I need to divide both sides by 2. So I have y equals 3. Okay, now that I know what y is, I can plug it back in and solve for x. Um, I'm going to use the top equation again. I think that's what we did in class. Okay, so I have 3x plus 4 times, we know y is 3, equals 9. So let's simplify. We have 3x plus 4 times 3 is 12, equals 9. I need to subtract 12 from both sides. So 3x equals a negative 3. Divide both sides by 3, I'll have x equals a negative 1. Again, this is an ordered pair, so I need to write it as such. So the x-coordinate goes first, it's negative 1. My y-coordinate is 3. So my solution is negative 1, 3.